So I guess I'll just kind of let you start off if there's anything you want to say kind of to start off with what has been circulating with the video and the incident that took place. Okay. Um, just to start. <clears throat> uh, the video shows a, a portion, a 30-second portion of what really happened out there, and, and it's really uh, it's amazing how many people make judgments and, and horrible remark over a 30-second video, a portion of uh, a, a situation that lasted uh, 15, 20 minutes uh, total. But uh, officers were faced with a potentially dangerous situation and had to make some split-second decisions to protect everyone involved, including our officers. After reviewing all the audio and video evidence available, including the uh, body camera footage, I fully support the actions of the officers. Uh, they acted within the policies of our department. Uh, no one was injured. Uh, it worked out. It worked out well, no matter what the, that portion uh, of the video that's been circulating. Uh, we stand together with everyone in the community, and uh, uh, and we're all are very troubled by the horrible death of George Floyd. It's really impossible to compare this incident as to what happened to uh, uh, Mr. Floyd because no one got injured. Mm -hmm. No one was injured in this in this volatile situation because of the actions of our officers. Uh, uh, and, and again, it, it is amazing that uh, the, some of the things that were uh, that were uh, said, uh, commented on social media about about that. 29 seconds. Uh, once the officers uh, were able to make the arrest, the suspect was stood up and moved to safety. Uh, the comments have been made calling this incident unhuman. The officers had a calm, the officer, this was really, really neat. The officer, uh, uh, after uh, uh, he uh, arrested the young man, uh, the 17 year old young man, he was 17 years old. Uh, and, and got to talking to him, put him handcuffed and put him in the car. He uh, had, a, had a, a good conversation with him, like uh, uh, a big brother kind of a uh, conversation. He, uh, he found out that this young man was just trying to protect his uh, younger daughter. And uh, the, uh, the, uh, the young man that was arrested was uh, uh, very apologetic and uh, realized that he'd made a mistake. And after a several, you know, a few minutes of pretty good conversation, the uh, our officers uh, uh, decided to let him go and not uh, file any charges on him. That is hardly inhumane behavior. Our officers, uh, again, after things calmed down, realized that this was a good young man, and uh, he acted impulsively uh, in, in uh, trying to trying to help his his uh, sister. But still, he was breaking the law. But uh, our officer uh, decided to, uh, to do what he did, and I think it was the right decision. We value our relationships with the community, especially with the uh, uh, relationship with the uh, uh, NAACP, the 100 black men, and other uh, minority relationships in the community. And uh, they have asked us to uh, uh, reconsider our uh, uh, our policies on uh, arrest and, uh, and use of force during arrest, and uh, we we have. Uh, I, I've decided that we're not going to uh, use any techniques that intentionally uh, uh, cover uh, involve the, the neck uh, or the head as a, a initial point of contact and trying to affect the arrest. Uh, I want to say more than anything. Uh, uh, I am so proud of our police officers. They, uh, they, they are doing a heck of a job in a horrible time, and they have put up with more stuff than, uh, uh, during the virus and, uh, uh, and it's still going on, and during these hard times to be a, a good cop. And they are, they are, it's tough out there on the streets for those officers, but they're doing a great job. I could not be more proud of them. Uh, and <clears throat> uh, this is an unfortunate situation. We're going to get through this. Because uh, our citizens right now are our biggest asset uh, as far as getting through this. They have been great so far. Uh, no, we're not, we, we've, uh, there are some haters out there, and we're not going to change all those folks. But we want our, our good citizens and citizens that, uh, that know what we're trying to do the last uh, 
uh, the last seven, eight years, and they, they know that we're trying. Uh, we've been transparent. We've got so many good uh, 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 operations and, and uh, functions and uh, organizational relationships out in the community that, you know, uh, we just want them to know that uh, that we're with them. And I, it's it's been a real plus through all this to know that we've been able to meet with the uh, uh, the NAACP and the 100 uh, black men and other community leaders uh, uh, quite a bit over the last couple of weeks. And uh, uh, we're working together to do, uh, only get through this and we're going to get through this, but it's good that we're working together and we're not agreeing uh, everything, but we're communicating and we're keeping the lines of communication open. And I think that's the key here. And uh, uh, we just uh, really appreciate the citizens of Beaumont and how they're reacting to this. Mm -hmm. You referenced the, the technique <coughs> to the Met. I don't know if there's a term for it, but is that something, I know you mentioned that you guys are going to steer away from that from now on, but is that something that was a part of the training if, if things did escalate to a point where the officers felt the need to do that? No, what they did was, uh, it, it, there's nothing wrong with, the, with what the officers did. Mm -hmm. I mean, they acted within our uh, our policies and our rules. and. Uh, the officers never. The officer never put uh, uh, his whole body weight on, on uh, the gentleman's body, and, and the uh, if you look closely at the uh, video, our video and theirs, uh, uh, you'll see that the officer, uh, his knee and shin were m mostly under the back, on the back, not the neck. And uh, the main thing is that uh, our officers know if you get uh, around the neck area, you're, you you got to be careful. And uh, this gentleman that was arrested uh, got up immediately. And uh, there was no injuries involved. He had no complaints, and uh, he was actually apologetic, mm -hmm. like I said. And uh, uh, this this incident uh, worked out all right uh, because of the the way our officers conducted themselves. Right. Uh, and in terms of, but you mentioned moving forward that you guys are going to try and prevent that yes. technique. I guess. And yeah, we're we're gonna uh, we definitely looked at it and uh, and uh, at the request of the. NAACP and the 100 black men and other citizens. So we, we looked at it and we're going to, we're not going to uh, teach or condone uh, uh, any technique that uh, makes the neck or the head of uh, uh, the initial point of contact during uh, any type of arrest or use of force. Gotcha. And I obviously mentioned that you support the officer's decision making, you support what they did in, in apprehending the suspect. Uh, in terms of, of them, is there anything that they're going through in terms of leave? Are they... I mean, are they back to work? Are they good to go? No, they're, they're back to work, okay. and they, they, they've been back to work. They did nothing wrong. They're, they're, they're getting some threats uh, other, uh, off of social media, and these officers didn't do anything, anything wrong. It makes me sick that these officers who, who are doing a tough job, a good job, and, uh, and doing a tough time, and they're, and, and, they're, and they're having to endure this kind of crud. It, it, it makes me ill. Uh, our officers are going through too much... Uh, uh, stuff as it is right now without having to put up with the uh, threats on the, uh, by these clowns with social media. And you mentioned obviously there's no injuries. The guy that was being arrested, he wasn't hurt. He even apologized and was let go. You know, I mean, from the video that you guys saw and you have, you know how long the officer's knee was on his back? It was just a matter of seconds. Okay. Uh, and and uh, you can tell that through, uh, uh, and that's what, that's, uh, uh, that's the, the way we do that. I mean, if you if you use that technique and, and you are getting close to the neck, well, then you know that you can't you can't go over four or five seconds, uh, uh, and, and you, then you have to change your technique. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotcha. And then do you guys at all plan to release the body cam footage at all? Or? Yeah, we're, we're still that's in the process right now. We're uh, it's, it's got a legal uh, legal process that we're doing that's going through, and uh, we've got to be fair and consistent with the way we handle the uh, uh, the release of all of our body cam videos. Gotcha.